Can we land on a star? Let's blast into a cosmic question that sounds simple, but hides a terrifying truth. We've landed on the moon. We've sent rovers to Mars. But what about stars? Could we ever land on one? Let's find out what would happen if you tried to touch the soon or any star in the universe. What is a star made of? First, let's look beyond the glow. Stars are not solid objects. They're massive, searing balls of plasma superheated gas stripped of its electrons. Our sun, for example, burns at more than 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit on its surface. And at the core, over 27 million degrees. That's not a surface you could stand on. It's like trying to land on a living nuclear explosion ohm that never stops detonating. What if you tried anyway? Let's say you built a spacecraft tougher than anything we've ever made. You head for the sun, you pass Mercury, then Venus, and now the sun fills your window, glowing like a god. Before you even reach the surface, the radiation cooks your ship. The heat melts everything metal, circuits, even atoms. And then gravity takes over. You fall into the plasma, crushed, vaporized, gone. You never land. You dissolve. But what about exotic stars? Could we land on a different kind of star? Neutron stars are dense, super compact remnants of exploded stars. They're about the size of a city, but with the mass of the sun. And the gravity? If you dropped a pebble on a neutron star, it would hit the surface at nearly half the speed of light. The impact would unleash energy equal to a nuclear bomb. Even walking on it's impossible. You'd be crushed into atoms in a fraction of a second. The illusion of the star's surface. Some stars look like they have solid boundaries. They don't. What you see is a layer of gas so dense and bright, it appears solid. But it's chaos. It's not land. It's light. It's energy. There's nowhere to stand. Nowhere to build. Nowhere to land. Stars are not destinations. So... Can we land on a star? The answer is simple. No, not now, not ever. Stars aren't planets. They're burning furnaces of fusion and fire. They create light, they give life, but they will never welcome a visitor. Some things in the universe are meant to be observed, not touched.